overnight coalition forces striking Houthi targets in Yemen. The U.S. and United Kingdom launching strikes against 36 Houthi targets over 13 locations with support from Australia, Bahrain, Canada, Denmark, the Netherlands, and New Zealand. The latest strikes launched by warships and fighter jets seen here being loaded with missiles. The nation citing the Houthis' continued threat to global trade and freedom of navigation as their justification for their use of force, saying their aim is to de-escalate tensions and restore stability in the Red Sea. The coalition releasing a statement saying, quote, we will not hesitate to continue to defend lives and the free flow of commerce. This as casualty numbers continue to rise from Friday's strikes. In Iraq, 16 killed, 25 wounded, and in Syria, 29 killed. Iraq and Syria both condemning the U.S. response to a deadly drone attack that killed three American service members, as Iraq now declares three days of mourning for the victims of the U.S. airstrikes. This, as President Biden repeatedly has said, he wants to avoid a larger regional conflict. I don't think we need a wider war in the Middle East. That's not what I'm looking for. Meanwhile, the Lebanon-based militant group Hezbollah calling the U.S. strikes, quote, a blatant violation of the sovereignty of the two countries, an attack on their security and territorial integrity, and a shameless violation of all international and humanitarian law.